I understand uh, if everyone's been listening to me and getting a little concerned because they're, they're hearing what I'm saying and they're going, all right, uh, he's talking about a nuclear war. Uh, he's talking about massive invasion of Russia. And Russia is a very strong nuclear power. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows because uh, Vladimir Putin wears no shirt a lot of the time. All right, so number one, like I said, I won't start a war without congressional approval. However, um, if India just so happens not have too much water in their country, and they think, well, maybe I, I could be friends with the, them Pakistanis. I understand we've really had some cyber battles in the past. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, one time I, 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 I said something about how the Indian government uh, had framed someone for terrorism in Kashmir uh, that wasn't actually a terrorist. And uh, I think the, per the Pakistani that talked to me about that, uh, my understanding is that he, uh, he launched a pretty serious cyber attack later on. He, was a sure, he sure was a nice, nice fella. He's he's the type of person I would. Be, if he was my friend, hey, you want to come work for my administration? <laughs> okay, no, seriously, I, he, he he's very friendly. Uh, all right, so um, yeah, I guess I would primarily be taking a defensive posture, and and uh, but um, if China wanted to get involved, you sure would have a very strong offensive nuclear situation there, and if we wanted to actually. Um, only do uh, responsive nuking, I'd be down for that. Because uh, we could just not use our nukes, and no one could use their nukes um, until someone uses their nukes, and then that's when major cities get nuked real bad. Um, all right, so I, I think some people are wondering if I, if I actually know about nuclear war, like what it does, like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Unfortunately, I do and I understand the fear that a person can feel, but I also feel like my life has been so intense for so long that when a situation like this happens, nothing changes, not, like, not in my mind. And, and that's one of the best things about me running for president. Donald Trump ain't ever felt something like that. He ain't ever had the government trying to murder you. Donald Trump ever ain't ever been poisoned, having to force himself to throw up. Donald Trump don't know shit about someone rigging your car so that next thing you know you're driving down the road and you got your windshield right next to your nose. You're thanking God because I swear to God, what happened was, this, this is actually happened. I drive to Colorado from Texas. Pissed off some people real good. That shit happens. That's what happened the last time I drove to Colorado from Texas too. So I drive to Colorado from Texas. This is when I'm 18 years old. Don't know shit about the drugs. Drive there. Um, someone, I think, tampered with my car, and I heard it, and, and I felt Jesus, I still believe in Jesus back then, and Jesus told me to go to focus on the family, go see the Dobson. Well, actually, I just, I just wanted to go to Wits End, so I always grew up uh, listening to Wits End, or uh, to uh, McGee and me. No, that's a different one. Uh, who did I use? Okay, Ken Jennings, who did I listen, used to listen to? Adventures in Odyssey? Yeah. Yeah, I grew up on that shit. So uh, it's kind of hard to explain how uh, Donald Trump thinks he's, he's a Republican and everyone thinks Republicans won't vote for no atheist, especially some atheist that's calling himself Satan. Especially once you kind of start to think about what it means to be a Gnostic and, 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 and like how there were all these people that were like, yeah, I know, but I'm still a part of you. Like seriously, all these Gnostic people are like packed into these churches to supplement the rest of the church while they're getting new members. Because how did the Christian church grow? Through martyrdom, through like people dying, public deaths, through like people showing their faith and everyone's like, I want to be like them. They'll die for nothing. No, they'll die for something because that they, they wouldn't die for something. And then the whole time the Gnostics were in the church too until the Gnostics slowly backed away, did whatever they want. Uh, sometimes we aren't part of the culture and we're on the outside. We have our own like little hidden cities, uh, at least that's my opinion. Sometimes we were actually part of it, like almost always. So uh, we sacrificed for a long time and ignored technology because uh, we know what people are like. Real selfish. There's nothing you can do to talk to those Republicans and tell them, hey, uh, why, why don't you not drive a giant ass truck? Because some, I, I, oh gosh, I was about to do a, a Republican accent. I drive a big ass truck because my girl loved that shit. Is that how Republicans talk? No. I drive a big ass truck because my girl loves it. That's why. 
And Jesus says, oil's for me. Okay. That's pretty much what Republicans are like. Don't know how the hell to convince them to stop driving big ass trucks. Don't know how to convince them there are seven billion people on this planet. They're like that. They're like, no, no, I'm not selfish. I'm a Christian. Trust me. The Bible says don't be selfish. Trust me. I ain't no selfish person. But I really need that Hummer. Mmm, that Hummer. Oh, but I got three kids. I need it. Yeah. So that's why Dana Perino should join me. She got a brain. You think, you think there's a real reason I have a problem with Fox News? Y'all are the number one group of people that make it so hard to save the fucking planet. And it's like, gotta be nice to Fox News because I'm trying to take their people away afraid of contract disputes. But then I'm also like, dude, there's a reason I hate you. It's because you are a propaganda machine for destroying the planet. Like, I don't think Republicans need to want to destroy the planet. We could talk to them and say, hey, this is real. I'm from the damn oil business. I used to take care of the fields out in Oildale. I used to build the pump-off controllers that shut down the oil, oil wells when they weren't productive. That's what I did when I was like 12 years old. I'm from the oil business and we're saying, yes, we like money. We're okay with losing money. We need to save it for later. Don't know how to talk to the Republicans about that. That's why I need Dana.